So look, again, just a few closing procedural uh, messages from myself. And firstly, uh, just, and I'll take a few collective, but before I do that, <clears throat> just thank Jesse and Marcus, uh, exception role and the L tellers. <clears throat> Gave up their lunchtime yesterday, gave a lot of time throughout the whole process, and really do appreciate it. And thanks for putting your name forward to everybody else as well. Uh, just, I will say a few collective pieces, and we can give them a, a collective round of applause. But again, as always, the professionalism of uh, Poi, uh, Connor and his team, on sound, uh, Jerry and his team. Uh, I do also want to thank Q4, I know we've referenced them before, but a communications organization who've worked with us throughout the whole process and throughout the whole getting uh, messages out and supporting our, our, the, I guess, the parallel discussion that's happened uh, around the whole issue of drugs as well. So thanks to those as well. Um, special thanks, as always, to Matt and his team. Matt's at the very back around uh, in the corner. Uh, I have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good stuff, Luminita. Thank you. <laughs> that is brilliant. Uh, look, thanks to Matt and his team. Um, I know Matt and his team have been facilitating all of the citizens' assemblies that's been held here. Uh, and it just shows, you know, it runs like a machine. Um, but a staff who just apparently have a smile around us, they're I'm working with us and changing timetables and adapting timetables. Uh, thanks, Matt, and really appreciate everything. The quality and the service has been fantastic. <laughs> Um, if I can, again, just a few people to together. It's certainly the HSC team who have been working behind the scenes and supporting. It's during very difficult presentations. People might have felt need support, need help, need someone to chat to. Uh, and they've done that very professionally behind the scenes in a very diligent way. And I want to thank uh, Anthony and his team as well for that. Uh, our, our sign language speakers throughout uh, the whole process, but today and yesterday we have Susan and Darren. Uh, it's <laughs> And I, I know we all see it and understand it, but it's a relentlessly tiring job to be standing on your feet, keeping up with, with ourselves. So we really appreciate everything you've been doing. Um, Kieran Manning has been working with us for the past week or so, but uh, Kieran's bought uh, international and national expertise in terms of um, process of balloting. And I really want to thank Kieran for his time throughout and, and working on stuff last night with us as well. So thank you, Kieran. Well done. <laughs> Uh, and just as we are a wider public, I do want to thank the, you know, all of the presenters that we've had in here to date, all of the people who've shared in a very real way their lived experiences, um, all of the public uh, who've had submissions, and indeed in parallel the debates that have happened uh, and informed us in some way, but a parallel set of debates that happened around the Citizens' Assembly uh, on drugs. I want to thank everybody for that. Carl has thanked the advisory steering group and the lived experience group, but I do want to thank them as well behind the scenes, having given a lot of time, uh, personal time, commitments, uh, in very busy roles that they have, all of them in very busy lives. And, uh, I want to thank them all for the, how they helped us steer through a very complex area. Um, our facilitators, Caroline and all the team, again, they've been brilliant working with us throughout. Uh, just do it in a very calm way, give us feedback after, tell us what you said, what you thought what worked, and we tried to adapt based on it, but behind us, capturing all that data that they've captured for us is really rich. So. Thanks, Caroline, to all your team. <laughs> and finally, I know I've left somebody up, but again, I want to thank the Secretariat team. Um, you know, I've worked in the public service just for about 13 years, but to work with a bunch of people who just permanently go around with a smile, uh, and that's really what it is in the office and throughout here when, you know, there's a lot of cogs run, running around. These guys uh, just, just permanently going around with a smile, including Jerome as well. <laughs> uh, there he is. Uh, but no, it's tr tremendous pressures and behind the scenes, as Cahill has said, the work that goes on in preparation for these meetings, uh, logistical work, presenters work, trying to align the agenda around our terms of reference. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic team that I've worked with. And I also want to particularly and uh, specifically thank Cahill. Um, he said kind words about me, but I have to tell you, uh, he is the backbone and the anchor of all of this process. Uh, and my role comes into play when we're here together. His role has come into play every day uh, of every week uh, and before we've even been into this process. And, um, you know, again, a tour, absolute, committed public servant. It's what it says on the tin when you see Carl, he is a public servant. And I think we've been a bit of a yin and yang together. 
but we've worked really well behind the scenes. So thank you, Colin, for everything. Thank you. So I have one more minute, Luminita. <laughs> Uh, look, just final things for me, as Carla said, look, we're, we're here together nearly seven months, uh, which is an amazing process, uh, a fantastic process to be involved in, fantastic privilege for me to be involved in. I know from chatting to all of you in our social gatherings, uh, you have felt it as a privilege too. Um, and it has been, as the Taoiseach said, it has been a big responsibility. Uh, and that's what you have all brought. You've brought that big responsibility. Uh, some of the tensions that we've had throughout the whole process are because you've all come with different views, di different aspirations, and where, where we might get to and what you've heard. Um, but, you know, you, you've had brought... I know in the process of the seven months as well, many of you have sacrificed things in your own personal lives or things in your work life as well, uh, whether it's birthdays or special occasions, to be here and give up a full weekend every month. Uh, so that, that is really special, uh, and I do really appreciate it, and I know it. Uh, so thank you for that, doing all that. As Carl said, look, it has been a challenging process at different times. It's been a challenging process yesterday. Um, but that literally, I think, yesterday reflects the Irish population. And that's what this process is about. A really difficult issue, really challenging issue throughout the whole process. Uh, and that's what you've come forward and done, represented the Irish population in a very good way. And find a couple of things for me. I think there's, there's few occasions in our lives or our roles or you know, our social lives or whatever, that we get a chance to make a really big mark in society. Uh, and this, for me, has been one chance. Time will tell, but we've had the opportunity to set out a stall, to set out a shift and change in attitudes related to drugs and drug addiction. Uh, and you've embraced that opportunity. Uh, so once in a lifetime, we all get this opportunity to make a difference in society. I do believe this is one we've all got and one that you have grasped really well. And thank you for that. Um, the, yeah, thank you. yeah, and look, that is a special thanks to all of you. I've, I've experienced nothing but kindness and humanity dealing with all of you, individually, collectively, supporting me, supporting the team uh, through this process. Uh, you're a tremendous uh, bunch of people. You really are. A great-looking bunch and a tremendous bunch of people as well, <laughs> overall. So, no, I really want to thank you. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. And I know many of you have made friends. Many of you have made groups uh, that you'll keep in touch with. And that's just really nice uh, value add, an extra piece to the process. So, and I know I've made great friends. I've made 99 great friends. You might not be my friend. You might feel I'm, I'm your friend, but I've made 99 good friends. Uh, and I really want to thank you. My final message actually is to, uh, to the Taoiseach and government to really do embrace these recommendations. I mean, we've expressed frustration before. Uh, that, you know, and I'll say one more time, if a legislation was agreed in 2017 and agreed by government in 2019 and it's nowhere to be seen as we head into 2024, this can't happen with this report. This can't happen with these recommendations. We've said out we want the most senior accountability level at government level, a dedicated cabinet committee. We don't want this hanging on a shelf. We want it going to the Oireachtas. We want it going to government straight away. Uh, people's lives are at stake. This is not just about a policy. This is about saving people's lives, about saving families, saving communities, destigmatizing people who have been marginalized through many of the harms caused by drugs. So my special plea, plea, to, plea to Taoiseach, thanks for your kind comments. What really may make a difference for us is you embrace this report and implement it. So thank you very much, everybody, and kind, safe home. Thank you.